Well, Jeff, I'm not sure if you made your chum bucket, so I'm going to give you a little tutorial here, buddy. That there is one bucket from Walmart with the matching lid. Take the corn. I'll show you the corn here in a minute. Pour you some in there. And you take some dry activated yeast. Just kind of sprinkle it in there. Like so. Thank you some more corn. Some more yeast. Sprinkle it in there. Take some more corn. Probably about half full right there. Maybe a little more than half. Sprinkle some more yeast. Go ahead and put a little bit more corn. I'm gonna leave some area at the top for air. Sprinkle a little bit more yeast on there. If you get it in, if you get your yeast in packets. To sprinkle a whole packet, get about three or four layers of corn and yeast. And you take warm water, make sure it's warm, it has to be warm. Don't put cold water in it or it won't activate the yeast. And you're going to fill this up to just where the corn is covered. Alright? I'm going to put some more water in here just until it's, the water level comes up just above the corn. Alright, that's pretty close. That's good enough. Then you're going to take your lid and snap it on there. <clears throat> and this part is real important too. Take you a knife and punch you a hole or two in the top. Let it breathe or it'll pop your lid off. They don't have to be big holes, just something that'll let the air get out. And the corn I bought, I got it at Atwoods. This, kid, uh, this is what I got. Just make sure when you buy it that it says whole corn. Pretty much it.